it's going to be my personal uh, choice. Uh, it might be different from one uh, one art director to the other. Uh, I usually look for um, uh, something that that feels uh, personal and original, uh, because uh, I see a lot of uh, portfolios, and you can notice there is uh, uh, things that are quite familiar or 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 kind of copies from what you've you've seen. Uh, but it always attracts the eye when you see uh, uh, when you see something original, personal, even if it's not necessarily polished, because this can come with with practice. But that's what uh, what attracts uh, the eye the most. Uh, then there is uh, after that comes the the polish level. If you see that uh, things are done properly, very well, very sophisticated. Uh, this also is, it is a big plus. Then there is the, the, the quantity. Um, uh, and because the quantity says that, uh, that the artist is really doing his best and his, that's his real hobby, that's what he wants to do. So the more you see of, of, of the works, uh, this, this is a good sign that this person really wants to do this. and. Uh, Obviously, if he keeps doing it, he will get better and better and better. Uh, one other important one through all those three is to see if, uh, if the foundations are there, like the, the artistic foundations, um, the color theory, is it there? The composition, uh, is it there? The, uh, the anatomy, are they, are they signs that these are being uh, somehow understood and, and, uh, and applied? Because if those are are well integrated, uh, it makes it makes the, the progress much more seamless uh, down the road. Perseverance is one. It's uh, in the uh, in the game industry. Uh, it's things are changing and evolving at a very fast pace. Same as with the quality, it's, so you need someone that who can who can keep up, and and keep uh, keep trying better and better and better. So someone who perseveres, uh, you can expect miracles from him because he uh, he will try always to 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 improve what he did uh, previously. Um, Compared to if, let's say, uh, you can have someone who's really, really talented, but, but who maybe who gives up after the first three challenges. Uh, I would say a foundation is a big one. Uh, that should be one of the big focuses, how to uh, go to the basics, uh, the color theory, the the human anatomy uh, perspective, the classic way, uh, architecture, there is that. Uh, the other part is learning from uh, the masters, which is, when I say masters, is from classic art, mainly. It's uh, learning from classic painting, learning from um, the big uh, illustrators of the past century. And b because these these guys get at a very, um, a very a very high level of, of expertise and and skillfulness, uh, and it's it's a shortcut uh, for our learning. So instead of from building this skill from from zero, you have all this history that we can we can learn from and build uh, upon it. So I, I think, and this also helps to enrich the visual library. Of the if, of any artist, if he builds a visual library based on those uh, uh, masterpieces and the work from those masters, uh, then he's going to influence and his work and raise the bar already. Just just starting from from there, uh, compared to if let's say um, uh, the key inspirations of of an artist uh, are mainly and mostly coming from um, more recent works. It already um, lowers the bar uh, a, a little bit. So, so, so foundation is one. Uh, 
uh, inspiration from the masters is the second one and the third one I would say is um, is finding way uh, to uh, to let uh, personalities the artist's personality to emerge through his work um, rather than investing too much into uh, copying trends or or replicating trends but rather uh, encourage the artist to to come up with something personal although if the first implementation of that personal work is not as sophisticated as wished for but at least if it's something that's unique he can polish it down the road and and add layers of uh, of improvements uh, on, t on on top of it Uh, uh, what puts away people from doing their personal stuff is that once, uh, if they don't have the, the foundations and they try to do their personal stuff, uh, even if what they come up with is unique and is very interesting, just because it doesn't follow the foundations uh, gives the impression that it's weak or not good enough. So they just threw the whole thing. They say, okay, I'm. I shouldn't do this. I, it's more comfortable to go copy this trend or this trend. That's why I'm saying if uh, they need to invest into their personal stuff, uh, stuff and keep iterating on it until it gets polished, it gets uh, sophisticated, and it gets in par with uh, the, the standards, the best standards uh, that inspires them. So uh, I don't think it's, it's a different thing when you say, uh, bring me a, a a character or a world that that's that's unique that's you even if it's not let's say the perspective is all wrong and the 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 anatomy is all wrong if it's unique you will feel it and then with work and iteration you can take what's that thing that seems unique or original and bring it to to high standards and you will merge to the best of two worlds you have something that's very polished that top-notch but is unique it is it is you and we have many many examples of that um, like when you look uh, I'll just bring an example you you see um, I don't know if you're familiar with um, um, with the manga blame Blam. when you look at it from technical standpoint the, uh, the perspective is not always top-notch, the, the, the anatomy is not always top-notch, but somehow it's, a, it's an apocalyptic world, it's cyberpunk, but it is unique. You look at the monsters, they are, they are unique. It has some uniqueness and some personality to them, but it doesn't bother you that much. The next stage would be, oh, uh, if you have that kind of uniqueness, but with another layer of sophistication, then it's... Uh, so that's what I mean by, by uniqueness. He could have just went with cyberpunk that's more sophisticated, uh, very well uh, proper anatomy and all that. But if it looks like everything that's uh, on the market, I think nobody would look at it.